In this video, we're going to look at some of the recent updates to VS Code. There were several great improvements. And if you want to learn more about VS Code, check out my VS Code course at vscodehero.com. The link is in the description below. If you find this video helpful, like and subscribe. VS Code now utilizes machine learning to automatically detect which language you're using and set the language mode for you. It takes just a few lines of code to kick in. If you want to open up a new untitled file and start typing or even better, paste in some code and you'll see it in action. The extensions view has been updated with more details depending on the width of the view. It will show large or small icons, ratings, and install count. If you hover over an extension, you'll now see more details, including a complete description and enabled status. VS Code now has built-in support for bracket pair colorization. It has support for theming and configuration for up to six colors. Instead of confusing plain white parentheses, square brackets, and curly braces, you get custom colors for each set to help you quickly identify their scope. Now you may already have the extension bracket pair colorizer, bracket pair colorizer 2, or rainbow brackets installed. There are some performance issues with these extensions when used with large documents. This built-in implementation solves these issues. So I would suggest uninstalling these previous extensions and enable this one in the settings at editor.bracketpaircolorization. You can also customize the colors by using workbench.colorcustomizations in your settings.json file. Inline suggestions can now show extended suggestions for autocomplete. Just go to your settings and look for editor suggest preview to enable it. Notice that the first part of the suggestion is regular font and the rest of it is italic. The italic part is coming from my completion provider, which is Copilot. The first time I hit tab, the first part will complete and then I can hit tab again to accept the additional autocompletion. You can now drag and drop terminals from one VS Code window to another. And if you haven't already seen my video on the live preview extension, be sure to check out that video for a detailed demo. The short version is that you can now open your web application inside VS Code using a built-in browser, and with that comes your browser dev tools. VS Code now has support for inlay hints for JavaScript and TypeScript. Inlay hints provide additional inline information to help you understand code. Just go to the settings and look for JavaScript or TypeScript inlay hints parameter names. There are three options here. None, which is disabled. Literal, which will only show inlay hints for literals like strings, numbers, and booleans. Or all will enable it for everything. This can be really helpful to quickly see what type of argument or parameter that you're using and can help you from making silly mistakes. All of this extra stuff that you see here is not editable. It's just VS Code giving inline hints. You may or may not like this and that's why it's disabled by default. VS Code is continually improving. Let me know what your favorite feature is. I also have a VS Code cheat sheet that you can download for free. The link is in the description. It has keyboard shortcuts, my favorite extensions, themes, fonts, and icon packs. And that's going to be it for this video. Like this video to help me out and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this.